Hi everyone and welcome to White Sky's Wisdom. This is a tarot card reading for the star sign of Pisces for October 2019. Welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome back everyone. Okay Pisces, when I did your yearly for 2019, the card for this month October was the Queen of Cups. So this could be you embodying this energy at the moment, someone who has a lid on her emotions, someone who knows her emotions very well, who treats her emotions with the utmost of care, really knows her emotions. Uh, the, also, but doesn't mouth off her emotions, doesn't get too emotional about things, okay? And if you're not exuding that at the moment, uh, this month it's indicated that's the, the state you should be at. Uh, you are dealing with uh, either children at the moment, you might feel like you need to balance your emotions here, and all this is a love relationship indicated with the, these two angels at the top here. Okay, Pisces, so we'll get into it. So we're just going to have a look at any planets that might be influencing you during this month before we get into the tarot. Planets influencing Pisces, please. Thank you. Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. Okay, so yes, you might be in a very um, dreamlike state this month. It looks very much like a Pisces card here, very watery realm here. Um, yes, so you might be dreaming big. Uh, you might be um, envisioning things in the future, constantly living in the future, okay, instead of the now. Um, just be careful that you need to be here and now at this month uh, and not always projecting into the future if that's your case. But a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful watery card there. All right, so we'll have a look at you, any zodiac signs you might be dealing with this month. Any zodiac signs that Pisces is dealing with this month or energies they're exuding this month, please. Just love these cards. These are astrology reading cards here. Beautiful. All right. So the zodiac sign for Pisces. Let's see. And it is Gemini. The energy is commutative mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. Yeah, okay, so you could be getting lots of communication this month, okay? You could be communicating a lot with others about your dreams and desires here, uh, things that you'd like to see happen in the future. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini character here um, and or you're dealing with the energy of union of some kind, business association, union, love relationship, um, any type of relation, relationship with family or whatever. Okay, but yes, yeah, so the conversation is going to be very lively, witty and informative um, in this coming month of October. Lots of communication on the horizon. All right, so we're also going to have a look at the house you, that might be affected. The house, that energy is being affected this month. Okay, and it is the sixth house, your work, health, and duty area of your life. Yeah, could be a work colleague here, you're coming up with fantastic ideas, or you're coming up with that fantastic business plan. You would like to leave a day job and you're gonna go be a tarot card reader on YouTube, you know? Whatever it be, whatever dream you've had, you might want to become a yoga instructor, you might want to quit your job and be self-sufficient, you know, it could be something quite extreme, but you're going to be talking a lot about it. Are you going to be getting a lot of information as well? You're going to be, you know, getting everything rolling at this time. Other people might think that you're a little bit crazy doing this too, so don't worry about the, what other people think, it's your life. 
you're going to, you know, you might be going, oh my God, I love that person there. They're amazing. They're going to be my new partner. Everybody's going, oh, look, don't, you know, don't worry about, you know, you're not going to do that. And why not? Okay. Why not? You can do whatever you put your mind to. All right. Pisces, let's get into it here with the tarot. So advice for Pisces, please, for October 2019. Okay, advice for Pisces, please. October 2019. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you've got a fantastic idea on what to do for a business here, or you're going to come up with it this month. The universe is trying to hand you this amazing idea and it's going to be fruitful. Uh, it looks like you're going to have to start off at the beginning. Okay. So yes, you could be, you know, some, as I said earlier, someone that works nine to five in a very well paying job or something like that. And you're going to have to give it all away to, to come up and do this new job idea, but it's the universe is saying, yep, go for it. Now's the time. Uh, get your information, start to talk to other people that have done the same uh, thing as you, find other people, you might even find chat rooms on um, the computer that'll help you, you know, chat to other people that have done the same thing as what you're thinking about doing. Nothing is too fanciful at the moment. You will be able to achieve whatever you put your mind to. Okay, and also if you're going through a little bit of health issues here, envision yourself best case scenario where you are happy, healthy and free. Okay, so yeah, here we go. So yes, individual happiness is what you desire. You want to be incredibly happy. Just yourself, no reliance on anybody. Even you can be in relationships, but just happy in yourself. When you exude this incredible happiness in yourself, it goes out to everything and everyone around you. Okay. So if you're finding that you're not very happy at the moment, if you feel like you're sort of stuck in a, a world of make believe and not believe, not believing truly in the realist, realistic things of today, just know that you will be able to achieve whatever you want in this world. Okay. You will be able to achieve it. Yeah. Cause a sudden change is coming. Sudden change change that will be out of your hands. The universe is going to step in in some way and change the foundations that you've been standing on. Now, where you've been is not where you want to be. So the universe is coming in and making changes to put you in far more alignment, better alignment with where you need to be and where you want to be. Okay. It could come from somebody a lot younger. It could be a comment thrown out. It could be, um, something happening quite quickly. Okay. Uh, also, if this sudden tower moment comes, just be careful about what you're saying to people. Be careful that you don't say something that you might regret. With that sword held high, this young um, page of swords here can just throw his sword around and tell people exactly what he thinks. That may not be the best thing to do this month. Okay. Or if someone's doing that to you, just know they're coming from a really lower air, um, chakras. Okay. They're not really thinking it through, um, and maybe not take it overly too personally. Okay. Find that inner well of happiness. Do and, and fantasize exactly the best case scenario for yourself this month because you are the master manifester as well this month. A lot of people are manifesting incredible things into their life in the month of October here. So if you can balance out your thoughts, your passions, your emotions, your money is going to end up getting balanced out. You're going to be able to any idea you come up with, no matter how out of the usual, how extreme, how fan fanciful it might seem right now, you will be able to start or will manifest that into your life. This could be a major winning in the lotto. This could be suddenly finding yourself out of work and then falling into that 
online business that you always wanted to do. Um, this could be a sudden change in, in where you live. Not being out, you know, you might get evicted by your landlord and then find yourself in a far better place, okay? Uh, but yeah, it's going to take keeping the lid on your emotions, but also dreaming big, really, really big at this time, okay? You could also be dealing with a cancer, but I think once this tower comes down, there's going to be a lot of confusing, confusing things. You're not going to really know exactly the reason why these things change. You might feel like you've just been a bit out of control. You might find that you're up late at night, unable to sleep properly, um, but just know there is loyalty around you, okay? Maybe from a cancer individual here. Uh, loyalty is around you, and if you have a look at that card, two towers have been built where one was. So here you are, you had this foundation, and then once that foundation comes crumbling down, you're going to have the resources to build twice as good, double, better, infinitely better twice as good you might end up having enough money to buy two houses a normal house and a holiday house you know whatever it be so once that tower comes crashing down you're going to find that yeah you're going to be able to build up bigger stronger better foundation if you can have a look at the foundation here compared to the foundation there these are built on stability this is built on ice rocky craggy hill here Okay, so yeah, things are going to end up going for the better. Just be really careful not to get too emotional when it happens and say things that you'll regret later. And that's the only sticking point I see here because you're going to end up with this incredible enlightenment out of this situation. It's going to be a massive learning thing for you. And it's only, it's only going to end in good here. I can't see it being a negative thing at all. Uh, you're going to because you're going to end up having to put yourself in a position where you are a little bit uncomfortable at the beginning of October here things are going to feel a little bit uncomfortable I'm sorry but you're going to see things from a very different perspective by the end of the month here you're going to be going oh wow I'm so glad that happened this happened be because now I've got I can work towards this or now I've got this or I've got that person or I've whatever it be okay um, yeah because Communication will come in really fast, probably from someone causing this. Might come from a Gemini. Communication will come in in some way. Someone's saying something they shouldn't. Saying something that wasn't thought through. Jumping the gun. Getting you all in your feels. Getting you up emotional. Okay. Don't react as best you can. Okay. Stand in your beautiful truth here. Keep a lid on those beautiful heartfelt emotions that you possess, Pisces, okay? Because this is what the universe wants to hand you. Complete and utter joy and complete and utter prosperity. Beauty, bounty in all its forms, sunshine and happiness. I see this card a lot of the time. You have more grapes there than you could ever eat, so you're going to make wine. And you'll have more wine than you could ever drink. That's the scenario, okay? Beautiful clothing, gorgeous sunny days, gorgeous home, okay? Things are going to work out so incredibly good for you this month. But at the beginning of the month, something's going to come at you that's going to put you off kilter. And as I said, it's not going to be your doing. It's going to be something else in the universe or something outside of you that brings this change. Okay. So yeah, the universe has said, right, Pisces, you've been where you've been for long enough. And now we're going to move you up. We're going to move you up the ladder. It's time. You're going to end up in that relationship if you've been alone for a long time. You're going to end up in that perfect job if you haven't had the right job. Um, you could end up in a different home and it's far better suited to you. Okay, so yeah, dream state. Make sure you, you dream incredibly big and the universe is going to hand it to you. It's a fabulous, fabulous read, Pisces. All right, so what else have we got here? Yeah, you could be dealing... It could, yeah, see this air sign, air sign, Gemini, this is a Libra card here. So Libra Aquarius, Gemini here. Something to do with this air sign here is going to bring big change. Now this could be if you're in a partnership with an air sign, 
they could suddenly lose their job or they could suddenly get a promotion or they could suddenly come home one day and say, hey, we're having to move to the other side of the world for work or something that'll get, you'll go, what? What the hell's this? You know, if that's the case. And or suddenly an air sign turns up. You're out one night having a great time, whatever, and suddenly you meet this amazing air sign. Okay, so yeah, air sign, very highly indicated here. Because yeah, finances are on their way to you. The Queen of Pentacles here, it's a Taurus card as well, could also be a Capricorn. With that goat there, okay. You are, look at this, this beautiful Nine of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles here. This is self-funded retiree all the way. This is someone that's got their finances together, got their worldly goods together, is, is beautiful and bountiful and secure, loving, fabulous parent, fabulous partner, stability, in for the long haul, okay. So it's incredible. And I think this has come from the past. I feel this card is very much the past of what you've had to endure. Constant mental issues. Okay. So if it's on the flip side, if you've been in a partnership with someone, say an air sign here, that it's been constant arguments and fights and stuff like that, you might find that your relationship turns around suddenly in October. Now that could be a sudden end or a separate, a short separation. That could be a sudden change in the dynamic of your partnership where these fights end. Something happens to change up in your world this month. And yeah, it's going to be at the beginning of October. Okay. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. So yes, happiness in all its forms, in finances in all its forms you'll be able to manifest incredible things into your life here you'll be able to keep a lid on your emotions keep a lid on what you say if someone comes at you and wants to get in an argument with you be the better person say don't engage in it because it's by doing that you're only raising your karma and leading to incredible incredible bounty for yourself Okay, if this is a boss, very much a boss card, this one, a boss is coming at you and in the past they've been niggling at you and saying you don't do a good enough job and, you know, not giving you promotions or whatever it is, suddenly something might happen where you end up losing that job or suddenly maybe this boss might lose his job, you know, something like that's going to come at you where things are going to be a bit shaky to start with and then bang, prosperity of all forms, absolutely gorgeous. All right. So we're going to have a look at the Angels of Abundance here because abundance is all around this read for you and just see what the angels have got to tell you. Angels of Abundance. I feel really happy and really in, engaged and enthusiastic by doing this read. I find us to pick up the energies for each sign and I'm feeling really powerful and enthusiastic doing this read. Sort of looking at them like, come on, bring the tower on. Let's shake this up, you know. Let's get this ball rolling. That's how I'm feeling. I don't know if that's your case, but if you're not, you'll soon be feeling this. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Bring in this happiness. Bring in this bounty. Bring in this joy. I'm ready. All right. The universe is going to go, awesome, Pisces, here you go. Okay, so let's see. What abundance guidance we have for you. Successful funding. <laughs> Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. You've got this amazing idea. You've got it. You might think it's mad. You might think it'll never work. No, it's going to work and it's going to work like you're going to be one day penniless, the next day rolling in money, literally, okay? And it's all from your hard work here. Successful funding. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. All right. So we're also going to have a look at any health issues that might be surrounding you at this time. I just, I love this. So good really good all right 
Any health issues for Pisces at this time? Any information that Pisces can glean from their health, please? October 2019. Yes, crowdfunding. Crowdfunding's the way to go. You've got that great idea. Get the wording done. Put it out there and see what happens. As I said, you might find that you end up suddenly with an amazing business partner here. It could be a Gemini. Uh, you could end up in a partnership with someone that uh, starts to to uh, bring in finances for you here. Could win money suddenly, and it changes everything up. And you can get that idea on the road. Something dramatic is going to change, and it's going to change your world for the better. Wish I was a Pisces this month. <laughs> All right. Hydration. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day. Yes, always good to check in, always make sure that your body is well hydrated, uh, particularly through times of great change. Uh, make sure you've got a water bottle going, make sure you're looking after um, drinking lots of water during the day. Um, Make sure it's good filtered water as well. Uh, also with this too, any, any time that you spend um, in or near water is going to be a huge benefit to you this month. All right, so we'll also have a look at any love blocks that might be affecting you. Any love blocks that might be affecting Pisces at this time. Any love blocks that might be affecting Pisces at this time? Thank you. Conquer self-doubt. You have what it takes to live your dreams. Live your dreams, Pisces. October is the start of you living your dreams dreams release yourself from that self-imposed cage fly free be the person you are no matter become and do whatever you want don't worry about what other people have told you you should be doing with your life you know what really drives you you know what you want to do you know you've got this great idea you know you can do it you could have been an accountant for 30 years and you suddenly want to become an artist do it. You're going to be funded. You're going to be cared for. It's going to work out in your highest good. Fantastic. All right. Okay. And we'll have a look at our, the power thought for this month for you, Pisces. Yes. Pisces is getting out of the cage and flying free. Okay. There is plenty for everyone, including me. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I can even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. It's going to come out of, from all sorts of scenarios in your life. Good is going to come for you this month. There is plenty for everyone, including you. So if you feel like, yes, you'll never earn those, you know, that multi million dollar fortune I'd start to think again I think it might be very much in your grasp it's yours for the taking cosmic ancestors voice your concerns okay with all these um, air sign cards here too uh, it's time to say if you're getting harassed or whatever it be at work or whatever's been the, the major cause of concern here um, it looks like this isn't so another individual that might be saying their truth it could be you saying your truth make sure you're coming from a place where you are doing it not in a uh, too aggressive way if that's the case voice your concerns at this time uh, and decide exactly what is right for you okay Know that you were guided by your ancestors at this time. Any passed over loved ones 
uh, have got your back. They're very present with you at the moment, okay? Very present. And they're wanting the best case scenario for you, okay? When we pass on, we leave all those lower energies that we might have um, had when we were on the earth and we move into a much higher realm. Um, so yes, we'll, there's people who have your back who have passed on. All right. And any final guidance, please, for Pisces for October? Thank you. Okay, you're coming out of this dark night of the soul. Life brings new meaning. Yes, major shift. New meaning. Life is bringing new, okay? What sometimes when we go through our darkest moments is the time that we learn the most. I know that's it, I wish the universe didn't do it that way, but sadly it is a lot a lot of the time the case. So I think you've been through some really hard times in the past, incredibly hard times, incredibly hard relationships, incredibly hard work situations. Could have even gone right back to childhood where you've had issues because these two look a, a, lot, a bit younger, okay? Now it's your time, Pisces. The universe has said, right, Pisces has suffered enough now. It's time to give them bounty and beauty in all its forms. So yes, life brings new meaning. It's time to step into the light. Okay, Pisces, thank you so much. What a fabulous reading. I really enjoyed that. So yes, if you'd like to like, subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. I'd just like to say thank you so much again and bye for now.